Yo, what up, man? It's your, your boy, Jazz Fuller. I'm here broadcasting out of my home bathroom. You're wondering why I'm in my bathroom. I'll show you around. Well, you know, I'm obviously not taking a shit. Come on, I'm not taking a shit. I'm just saying that uh, the reason that I'm broadcasting this video from my bathroom is because you know, all my ideas, points, usually come to my head. Like, all this shit comes from me, usually while I'm taking a shit. So, why not just broadcast from the bathroom? So, I'm here to talk to you about why the world is so fucked. And, you know, you hear people talking about it all the time, so it's about time. I fucking get my two cents in, right? Like, we honestly hear it too much. Like, everywhere we go, you know, whether it's on the fucking radio, on your ride to work, you know, the news. Like, even at the aisles at the grocery store, you like chit chatter, you know, and everybody's saying, you know, the world is going to shit. And that's because of us. And that's where it's gonna go to shit. Like, whoever it was, I think, and don't quote me on this, but. They said, uh, the world is environmentally at its worst point, but it's not too late to turn around. Like, I think it might have been Al Gore, pretty sure. So, Al Gore, if you ever watched this video, I'm going to say, uh, yes, our world is going to shit. And no, it's not too late to turn it around. Actually, man, it's, it's too late, bro. We're fucked. We're all fucked. The world is, we can't turn around. There's nothing we can do. Like, someone needs to be the bad news bear. So, today, I will fill those shoes. I don't want to put on shoes, but um, I'll fill those shoes. It's the same. The, the reason is the world, the reason why the world's going to shit is because of humans, you know, because of us. Like, we're too tied up in our daily routines and struggles. I mean, come on. Like, I'm a 22 year old single guy, and I go to college. I'm in the middle of jobs, like I sm smashed up the front end of my car a few weeks back, you know, was driving around doing donuts in my car, being a fucking idiot, and hit a little tree, and now I owe like $800 to fix my car, so I don't, I don't have a car. So, anyways, the point I'm trying to make is, like, I have enough daily shit I gotta think about, you know, I'm not worrying about fucking, like, what fucking correct fucking garbage bin I'm supposed to throw my shit in, like, if it's a cup, or if it's a fucking bag, you know, like, what, is it compost, or is it fucking waste, you know, or, or is it recyclable, you know, is this cup, you know what, I don't give a fuck where it goes, it's all gonna go to the same fucking place, so, like, I don't fucking know what one I was gonna fucking, you know, next time we'll close my eyes and just drop it in one, who knows where it'll go, you know, like, come on, you know, so I got enough daily shit <laughs> to think about, so, you know, whatever, like, no biggie, you know, like, if I fucking sitting, you know, in my house, you know, 15 feet away from a light, you know, and I should turn the light off, you know, but I'm already sitting down comfortable, like, playing Xbox, you know, I don't want to fucking get up and go fucking turn the light off when in the fucking, it'll probably, like, run out of batteries or some shit in the first place, because it should have been fixed or turned, like, changed a while ago, so, anyways, I've been way the fuck off topic, what I'm trying to say is, maybe it's just me, like, a lazy fuck, you know, I've been, I have my fair share of being laziness, and it's laziness that is destroying the world, that's what it is, it's not fucking the shit we put in the grounds, that's, that's a lot to do with it, I guess, but it's, it's more, it's, there's more human reasons why the world's going to shit, you know, so, um, we as humans completely ignore the fact that this world was given to us by someone or something for us to take care of, and I'm fully aware of the fact that there are way too many people in this world that just don't give a fuck. Like, we have a fair share of people that do a great deal of good for the world. But there's so much more people that don't give a fuck about it, and it outweighs the good people by, like, a significant amount. So, so yeah, that's, that's the way it is. Like, I, for one, am a pretty lazy guy, and it took me... A lot of time to realize how much of a fucking lazy asshole I was, but you know things change. Um, like I change, like I think a lot differently now. I try and change my ways for the greater good. Like trust me, I'm trying. 
you know so I'm trying to do my part it's just so many people really don't give a fuck so many people don't get that fucking life change thought like okay like the world's going to shit so if it's gonna go to shit anyway so let's just go, let it go to shit yeah so um anyway let's I don't know we'll start small and we'll get bigger like how about we talk about like um why the fuck it's such a big fucking deal to drink out of a tap water like taps at home like bottled water like really like come on like I've heard so many times that bottled water is like worse for you than drinking out of your own tap like okay like besides the fact that I personally would drink out of my own tap because like the closest river to me is like pff, fucking like been shit on by animals and people and farmers in the area is fucking throw their waste in but you know that's just where I live I'm, like I know it's differently in cities like cities don't have the fucking river like I have like, where I live in here like <laughs> Cities don't look like the fucking river. The like city's water is this. This is a big. There's a big fucking difference because I live in the fucking hillbilly country. So, so you know, we go to like you know, say we go for a run, or like we go for a run, or it's like thirsty or whatever. We need to go to the store and they're selling water for like a dollar seventy five. They like bottle water and dollar seventy five, please. The Asian at the corner there, and she's like the cost. You know, the cost for a case of water at the fucking grocery store is six bucks. You know. So you figure, like, you know, one bottle of water, you know, divided into 24 is, like, a quarter. What bottle of water is worth fucking quarter? And you're paying, like, a dollar fucking 89 for it because of the 13% fucking tax they put on every dollar. So, um, it's unbelievable what we have to pay, like, the money that goes out of our pocket, like, you know, and it's because of the government, like, I don't really want to get started on taxes because that could have a whole nother conversation that's long about taxes, but, like, like, 13% on every dollar is, come on, like, that's fucking ridiculous, like, what do they really do? What the fucking government do? Yeah, well, you fucking fix a few potholes in the roads, and yeah, you, uh, healthcare covers a few things, but, um, you know, fuck you, seriously, fuck you, um, what am I talking about? healthcare paying for people's welfare, like really, like people that actually have to go to work and school for a living and then you have people that are on welfare and collect a disability check. Like, I mean, if you got injured at work really bad, I'm sorry to hear that, but quit feeling so fucking sorry about yourself and get the fuck over it, buddy. Like, like if Lance Armstrong can lose a testicle and still win a race, you can fucking work from home in a wheelchair. Okay, I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, quit being, like, just fucking quit being a little bitch. Quit being a little bitch. People on welfare are the real losers that are destroying this fucking world. Oh, it's fucking ridiculous, man. And, like, yet the Canadian government feel the need to help the, the losers. Like, just let them fucking starve to death. Like, who's really gonna care, you know? It's winter time, it's not fucking freeze or some shit. You know, they got the right idea in Africa, you know? Like,. <laughs> At least in Africa, they find a way to survive somehow. It's in Canada, you know, we got it way too easy. I mean, people, come on, like, people actually make money off having kids around from. Girls that are in high school seem to, like, love getting fucking pregnant just so that the government will practically pay for their child to live till they're 18. You know, and then they get the fucking smart idea that, oh, okay, since the government paid for one, why not have two, three, or four more kids? And they're pretty much banking money and spending it on themselves when their fucking child goes without food and diapers and water and food. And it's just fucking unbelievable the way people take advantage of the government. And the fucking government just lets this kid keeps giving them money, you know? While we sit here and work and pay taxes for our money to fucking be gone, you know, like, that's unbelievable, if you want to, like, look at that from a different point of view, like, look at, like, if you went to fucking China or Japan right now, and you asked them, hey, would you, you know, give me money if I had kids, you know, they'd fucking squint at you, and they'd laugh in your fucking face, you know, we, like, we have it too easy nowadays, and it's, it's fucking, actually, it's unbelievably pathetic, so... Unbelievable, man. Like, you spend the way it used to be that you spend time with your girlfriend, you know, your boyfriend, whatever. You enjoy each other's company. You look after one each other like a team. And there's no one fucking does that anymore, you know. Like, we find a, a boy or girlfriend. We like like them for a bit. 
that turns into a few months or so. And then for some fucking drastic reason, people think it's a great idea to get married to someone they've known for at least a year or two. You know, le at least less than a year or two. And then they fucking get married. You know, the wedding happens, they live together for a few months, and then they realize why they don't like each other. Um, and the reason is because, you know, you fucking got in the relationship to last her for less than fucking a year, and then you thought it was a good idea to get mar married, and then you wonder why you don't like each other, because you've never lived before with each other, and you wonder why the fucking divorce rate is so high nowadays. Like, people shouldn't even get fucking married, man. Like, they should ban marriage completely. Like, the only reason people actually get married, come on, you know I'm right, is, like, for the glim glam, all your friends being at the fucking wedding, your friends, your family, your big fucking woo, like, woo, your fucking day, no one actually gives a fuck about a wedding, man. Like, the only reason, like, your distant fucking cousin Larry Love came is for the free food and open bar, and then he's, yeah, thanks a lot, man, you know, thanks for inviting me, you know, have a great day, you know. His fucking mom picks him up, drives him fucking back home. They stop at the fucking mail post office and grab his welfare check. She dro drops him off at a fucking bar, spends his whole fucking $600 fucking welfare check on some lake or lager beer or some shit. Whatever, man. Like, it's unacceptable. Like, you look at some of the people you went to high school with now, and you're like, you know, it's just... the fuck's the world gone to, man? Like, get real, man. And, like... Because we work or go to, you know, like, uh, it's, it's crazy shit. Like, um, what was I going to say? The way we act, we're so content with the world. is like, we act like we're doing okay, you know? Like, you see somebody you went to school with, and you're like, oh, you know, so-and-so is pregnant. You know, maybe you ran into someone, like, recently, and you're saying, you're so, oh, that person looks like shit. You know, like, wow, they're doing bad. But look at this guy. He's a fucking loser. Oh man, if he's doing that bad, yeah, I'm good. Like I'm okay. Like if he's doing that bad, then shit, man, I'll be fine. You know, like it's just the way people think nowadays is unbelievable, <laughs> and it's like kind of unbearable. Like it's downright awful. It's really sad when you actually think about the way we live, like our lives nowadays. Like compared to the way people lived before our times, people actually cared about one another. Nowadays, you think you're doing the world a favor by holding a door open for like an old lady. You think you're doing a favor because you tipped the hot waitress 10 bucks, you know? You think you're doing the world a favor because you talked to your grandparents on the phone. You know, oh, I talked to my grandparents, so I'm doing the world a favor. Oh, you think you fucking, you're doing something good for the world, buddy? I got news for you, man. Like, that shit people used to do routinely every day. In fact, it's we should, used to be considered rude not to. Yeah, there's no Adams here. It's about time we seriously start debating whether, yeah, I'm writing. It's about time we... We started thinking about it differently, man, because this is this is fucking awful, man. So, like, when the world detonates and people act like it was a big Did deal, you hear me? just know it wasn't a big deal, man. Like, we don't deserve God. We don't deserve this world. Because crazy. God turned his back on us a long time ago. Like, Jesus didn't die on that fucking cross for humanity. He just knew that if he stayed on this world with us, he was fucked. So he just did himself a favor and offed himself. So, like, <sighs> we, got, we got some shit to do, man. We got some shit to fix. So let's start fucking fixing it. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.